Huntron manufactured thousands of the Tracker 2000 from its introduction in 1984 to 2005 when it was discontinued. While the Tracker 2000 can still be a useful tool on some older PCBs, it is less so on today's lower current CMOS surface mounted components. This video is to address the commonly asked questions regarding the differences between the Tracker 2000 and the Tracker 2800. Let's start with the most obvious difference, and that is the Tracker display. The Tracker 2000 had a CRT based display, and the Tracker 2800 uses an LCD. While some longtime tracker users may prefer the real time aspect of a CRT, the color touch screen and screen text capabilities give the Tracker 2800 LCD some distinct advantages. The next big difference and probably the defining reason to consider a Tracker 2800 are the range capabilities. As we know, a tracker range consists of an applied AC voltage at a selected frequency run through an internal source resistance. With the Tracker 2000, the idea was to keep it simple, hence the low, medium 1, medium 2, and high push button range settings. The frequency was variable with three independent settings. When users started testing newer, low voltage, low current CMOS SMDs with their Tracker 2000, they saw the limitations in its use of higher voltages. However, the 54 ohm low range resistance was too low to see any high resistance shorts that are a common fault with CMOS semiconductors. This IC has a resistive fault, but is not visible on the 2000 because of the 10 volt 54 ohm range level. The medium 2 range would be a more appropriate resistance setting, but the 20 volt level is too high, making the signature look almost like a short. Huntron realized this issue early on and developed the first variable range tracker. Variable ranging allows the 2800 user to configure the range settings of voltage, frequency, and resistance independently, providing over 100 possible range combinations. The voltages used are lower and the resistance and frequency selections are expanded. With the lower voltages, High resistance shorts on surface mounted ICs could now be detected since the horizontal voltage scale on the tracker display was useful again. Here is the same IC fault using the 2800 3 volt range and the resistive problem is clearly visible. Here is a 10 microfarad capacitor in parallel with a diode using the 2000 low range. Here is the same circuit using a 2800 set at 200 millivolts. The voltage is too low to activate the diode threshold, so you only see the signature from the capacitor. The ability for the 2800 to drop to a 200 millivolt range allows the user to essentially isolate passive components that are in parallel with a semiconductor. The expanded resistance and frequency settings of the Tracker 2800 allow it to measure a much broader range of capacitive and inductive values. Both units feature a built-in voltage source used for gating switched devices such as relays or SCRs. The Tracker 2000's pulse generator was able to output a pulsed square wave, but this feature was little used compared to the basic DC voltage output. The 2800 has a simple to use DC voltage source for this reason. Both units feature A and B channel connections used for making direct comparisons between PCBs. The all metal case construction of the Tracker 2800 make it more robust than the all plastic 2000, reduces electromagnetic emissions, and allows it to be CE certified. Lastly, the ability for the Tracker 2800 to be connected and controlled by the Huntron workstation software gives it a unique potential that the Tracker 2000 by itself never had. The ability to capture, store, and compare signatures on a PC enables users to create controlled tests. This allows for consistent use, repeatable results, and eliminates the need for a constant known good comparison PCB. In conclusion, while the Tracker 2000 was a great tool in its day, the Tracker 2800 is a power-off test instrument that has evolved along with the technology that challenges us today. The goal is to make your job easier by providing tools that help you find the problems. To learn more about Huntron trackers, 
visit our website at www.huntron.com. Thank you for watching and please take the time to view other videos by Huntron on our YouTube channel.